Hello, my 3D printer peeps. Hello, members and Patreons. I'm here with the Bamboo Lab A1, and today we are going to lubricate the machine. We will be using Super Lube Lightweight Oil number 68, Lucas Oil White Lithium Grease, and LGI number 2. Typically, I use Blue Scott's Shop Cloth. I am out. Today, I will use Viva Paper Towels. Viva paper towels are very towel-like and they tend to not shed. I also have a cheap plastic dropper, a plastic bristle brush I get from the Tree of Dollar. You may use any cheap small paint brush that doesn't shed. And I have a blunt, that means not pointy tipped, syringe. The syringe and the dropper will be used for the same purpose. Work with whatever you have on hand or whatever you feel like picking up. You may even see this screen. Let's get this over with. Here on the back of the machine, push the bed forward, place your nail underneath this little groove, and lift this plastic cover up. Gently remove it. There's a lot going on here. What we're concerned with is this little slot on both sides. Clean this up real quick, get any of that rubber, shaving, dust, and whatever else might be in there out of there. Your towel might look like this. You can use a dropper or a very fine tip syringe like this. Draw some oil into the syringe and apply a very light bead of oil along this slot. Move the bed. And do the other side. I am not looking for any oil here on the top. Switch to the front of the printer Clean off any debris, oils, and greases on there, and do the same on both sides. And I'm going to repeat that process here in the back as well. I'm adding a little touch of oil on the outside of this bar right here. And a little touch of oil along the edge where this part clamps over the top of it. With that portion done, go ahead and carefully replace this cover. In order to gain access to the manual controls, you will first need to home the machine. Touch Control, touch XYZ, and touch Home. Once the home is complete, you will be able to move the tool head up and down with these controls. These are lead screws. Keeping your paper towel near the tool head, put a little pressure on the screw and use the screen to raise the tool head. Do it again on the way down. Do it again on the way up. Both sides. The reason we are doing this near the tool head is because this lead screw has a lot of play down here at the tool head where the lead screw is coming out of this fitting. There's very little play and you can work with it with less risk of damage. With your A1 all the way down, put some of this grease on your paintbrush. Of course, you can simply use the bottle. The paintbrush makes it pretty easy. Just dab some grease every inch or so, then use the screen and ride it all the way up. Go 
go ahead and catch those bare spots all the way down to the bottom. You may be inclined to spend less attention all the way at the bottom, but guess where your tool head is going to spend most of its time. Do this on both sides and then ride that tool head all the way down. With both sides done, raise the tool head a little more than halfway. For this part, place a cloth onto your build plate. Yes, I said onto your build plate. You can replace your build plate for about $10. But do you want to replace this? I didn't think so. Cloth on the build plate. Turn your printer off, grab your tool head and move it aside. With your dropper or syringe, place oil into the little channel on this rail. Do the same to the channel under the rail. Doing it with the syringe is the easiest way you'll ever do this. Move the tool head back and forth. If the rail looks dirty, go ahead and clean that off also. Even if it doesn't look dirty, wipe it off. Be sure it has a good oiling in that slot and you're all set. Having completed the lubrication process, it is good practice to run a full calibration. I'm Mr. Greg and you're on 3D Rundown.